Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on everybody and welcome back to a pre-recorded video today. It is Friday, August 30th, and we are going to be talking my NFL fantasy football team. We're going to break down my NFL team in today's first video. Second video of the day will be our full Madden franchise video, which will come out later. So stay tuned for that one as well. But first, before we hop into all of it, if you guys are new to the channel, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn that bell on. As we do our best to post on this channel every single day. Really quickly, we're in the Cowboys gear. We are one day away until kickoff of Auburn football. By the time you guys are watching this video, college football games will have been played. Thursday night, yesterday, uh, we would have had Colorado play. or uh, I believe North Carolina play. A couple other good teams in there like NC State as well. So... College football returns in all its glory by the time you guys are watching this video. But first, we got to hop in and break down this NFL fantasy team. So let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, here we are for starters, my NFL fantasy football team. How I'm going to do this? Well, I'm going to go over the team and then talk about what I like, what I don't like about said team. So, for starters, we're going to go ahead and talk about the bench for you guys. We're going to talk backups. Let's go ahead and break it down. As my backup quarterback, I have Baker Mayfield. I'll explain that thought process in a second. Najee Harris is my running back backup. My wide receivers are Gabe Davis, Xavier Leggett, Roma Dunze, and Brian Thomas Jr. to close us out. Really quickly, I think... You can alternate any of these receivers for the most part. Gabe Davis is going to be really good for the Jags. Obviously, Brian Thomas Jr. is going to be the number one receiver for Trevor Lawrence as well. But Roma Dunze for the Chicago Bears is going to be a really, really solid pick. Then you have Najee Harris who could go off and on. But you got to consider with the quarterback battles that they're having in Pittsburgh right now, then it is going to be a struggle. And they may just hand the ball off, which if they hand the ball off, then that gives Najee more points and stuff like that. Now, for our final bench player, of course, that is Baker Mayfield, the quarterback out of Tampa Bay. It was really just down to did I want experience or did I want a rookie. I believe the options were Jaden Daniels and Baker Mayfield for when I took my backup quarterback. I went with Baker Mayfield just because, A, he's got players he can throw the ball to. The offensive line is supposed to be really good for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So with that being said, when you have receivers like Mike Evans who signed an extension last offseason, when you have receivers like Chris Godwin, you're going to be set for fantasy points. It gives Baker enough fantasy points to where he can obviously just throw the ball up and they can catch it as well. A good option to have when your main quarterback is on bye week, and I'll talk about who my main quarterback is here in a second, but he is a good option to have if your quarterback is on a bye week and he can come in, obviously, depending on who they are playing and stuff like that. So with that said, just to recap, quarterback is Baker Mayfield, running back Najee, Gabe Davis, Xavier Luguette, Roma Dunze, and Brian Thomas Jr. All are my bench players. Let's talk starters for NFL fantasy football. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the starters for my NFL fantasy football team. We're going to do defense kicker, and then we'll talk the actual team in of itself. So starting off with the defense, the defense that I chose is the Kansas City Chiefs. They are the best defense in the league by far. Chris Jones obviously being a very strong point in that defensive line. Um, the quarterbacks for Kansas City are always really good. They're going to get you some points. So, obviously, there there is that right there. Sorry for the voice cracking. Don't know what it is. But then you have my kicker, who is, of course, Jake Moody, the kicker out of San Francisco. Thought process behind that, San Fran's got one of the best offenses in the league. So, with that being said, they're, A, going to score a lot of points which, of course, gets you a lot of extra points if they score a lot of touchdowns or if they get into the field goal range where Brock Purdy just absolutely collapses and whatever, and then they can get you three points just like that said as well. Brandon Ayuk, obviously, um, I believe. Christian McCaffrey as well. George Kittle, obviously, are all Debo Samuel. They're going to be back for another year in San Fran, and that is my kicker and defense. Now let's talk about the starters and my main team. All right, here we are at our starting quarterback position, or I guess our starting team 
in NFL fantasy football. We're going to work up from or down from up in this situation. So starting off with our flex player, it can obviously be a running back, wide receiver, or tight end. I put DK Metcalf as my flex. Now, with that being said, they they can change either way. I think Brian Thomas Jr. and DK Metcalf are going to be the two that I use utilize for the most part in those two flex positions with Denver. With DK Metcalf playing Denver Week One, they do kind of have a little bit of a slower defense. So with that said, obviously DK Metcalf and the Seattle Seahawks can put up a lot of points against a struggling Denver Broncos defense. Now. Moving on to tight end number, and my tight end is Dalton Schultz. Again, with a quarterback like C.J. Stroud, Nico Collins, obviously, the addition of Stephon Diggs, Dalton Schultz is going to be utilized a lot, especially when you're on, say, the one or two yard line against these other teams. And, by the way, they have the Indianapolis Colts, who also have a little bit of a struggling defense as well over there. But when you're down at the one or two yard line, C.J. Stroud can literally just go float it to Dalton Schultz. He would produce a lot of numbers in fantasy last year. He is one of the returning tight ends in fantasy production this year. So I'm thought process behind that is, hey, you get, you're coming off. You got the same pretty much exact team from last year. They're looking to do a little bit more than losing the wild card round this year. They're going to be back with a vengeance, and it, Dalton Schultz is going to come back for the Houston Texans. Now, Moving on is my wide receiver number two. That is Chris Olave for the New Orleans Saints. I think, A, number one, the Saints should start Spencer Rattler at their starting quarterback position. So you have kind of young guy throwing the, him the ball. But I'm not the Saints owner, and I'm not Dennis Allen, the most stupidest head coach in the National Football League. But thought process behind that is, hey, Kamara's getting kind of old, obviously. Derek Carr's also getting old. You can throw little check downs to Chris Olave. The NFC South defenses, other than the Falcons, shouldn't be as terrible or as good as the Atlanta Falcons defense is shaping up to be. So, thought process behind that is Saints, he's wide receiver one of the Saints. He's really the only good wide receiver on the Saints, if we're being completely honest. But, what thought process? They're going to throw the ball to him a lot. We saw it last year as well. He's going to be utilized a ton as Chris Olave is wide receiver number two. Then you have wide receiver one. I had the number two overall pick in this year's NFL fantasy draft. And, of course, I chose your boy C.D. Lamb. Kind of fitting. I obviously wore the C.D. Lamb jersey. But Christian McCaffrey obviously was taken with the number one overall pick, which is not a shocker in any way. I had to go with the boy C.D. Lamb. I did have faith that they would sign an extension before the season done. And, hey, look what happened. Earlier this week, they did sign an extension with C.D. Lamb on Tuesday, as a matter of fact. So, with that being said, C.D. Lamb is going to be my wide receiver one for the majority of the year. Now we get into running backs. What is my running back room going to look like? Well, for starters, at the running back number two position, I drafted Kyrene Williams out of Los Angeles. A lot of people in fantasy are really high about him. Obviously, Cooper Cup's getting up there in age, but so is Matthew Stafford, so they're going to lead a lot on Kyron Williams to kind of move this offense forward on third downs and stuff like that. You also got Puka Nakua on that offensive side of the ball for the Los Angeles Rams as well, but I think Kyron Williams is going to be a really good, solid running back for that group as well if you're the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, I mean Rams, excuse me. Now, moving on to running back number one. This one, I kind of just went iffy on Ramondre Stevenson. It's all going to shape up to how the offensive line for New England is going to look this year, in my opinion. Again, Drake May, probably not going to throw the ball a lot this year. He probably is going to rely on his running back a lot more, and uh, yeah, Marjay Stevenson, welcome to the team. And last but certainly not least, that is Jalen Hurts, my quarterback number one for this year in fantasy points. Now, last year he did have a lot of fantasy points, but I was kind of skeptical on taking him just because, A, just because, A, excuse me, they, they lost a lot of their offensive line from last year, so obviously the tush push is not going to be as effective as it was. But, hey, who knows? 
Jalen Hurts obviously has A.J. Brown and um, I believe one more other really good receiver. He has Saquon now to throw the ball to. So with that being said, they have playmakers. Let's see if Jalen Hurts can get the, the ball. But yeah, that is my NFL fantasy team. I got a B as my draft grade, which is not bad for another year as Carolina on the rise returns to fantasy football. Anyway, that is, of course, where I'm going to cut it for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day. Later today, you guys are getting my Madden Tennessee Titans full franchise rebuild. I promise that is coming. Going to be the last video before games kick off on Saturday before I head up to Auburn for Saturday's game as well. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off, get edited so you guys can watch it on time. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.